If you've used Discord, you might already know about all the badges, you can get these badges on your profile by completing various tasks on Discord, and today, I'll show you how to get all the obtainable profile badges in easy way. There are a total of 16 profile badges, 5 of which are no longer available, while the other 11 can still be obtained. And these 5 unobtainable badges are Hyper Squad Events, Server Partner, Early Bot Developer, Early Supporter, and Certified Moderator which was later changed into Moderator Programs Alumni. Just like my girlfriend who became my crush without any reason. By the way, there are also rumors that Discord might introduce Nitro subscription tiers, where you'll receive different Nitro badges based on how long you've subscribed. Imagine wasting your $720 just for a Fire PNG on your profile. Bruh. Okay, let's talk about all the obtainable badges one by one and discuss simple ways to earn them. First, we have the Hyper Squad badges, everyone know that these are some of the basic badges on Discord, and are divided into three badges which are Hype Squad Bravery, Balance, and Brilliance. Getting these badges is really easy, even new members can earn them in seconds, just go to your user settings, scroll down, and click on Hype Squad, then, click on Join Hype Squad and answer the following questions. You can give random answers because Discord doesn't really care about the ones you choose, alright, so after completing it, you'll be placed into one of the three groups, and most likely, you'll get the Bravery badge for the first time. There are two other badges as well, and you can change your badge by retaking the test with different answers, you'll need to keep trying until you get a different badge, for example, on my second try, I got the House of Brilliance. Now, let's talk about the Nitro badge. Nitro is a paid subscription on Discord that gives you access to premium perks, like using animated emojis, having an animated profile picture, and with that, getting a special badge on your profile. Now, earning this badge can be either hard or easy, cause if you're under 18 and don't have your own way to pay, I don't think your parents will let you spend $10 just for Nitro, however, if you do have a way to pay, you can get it by purchasing Nitro. By the way, I already made a video about free Nitro methods so make sure to watch that. The next badge is the Booster Badge, you can earn this badge by boosting a server. Boosting a server is a way for users to show support for their favorite communities while unlocking cool perks for the server, like more emoji slots, better audio quality, and visual upgrades. You can either get boosts through a Nitro subscription or purchase them directly. After boosting a server, the badge will appear on your profile. The badges vary depending on how long you've boosted the server, for example, the badge for one month is a Triangle Badge, for two months it's a Rhombus, and so on. Now let's talk about the Discord Staff Badge. Okay, so getting this badge is also hard to get, as this badge is exclusive to official employees of Discord, and it's not available to regular users or community members through any application or program. To get this badge, you need to be a Discord employee or have a job at Discord, you can apply at discord.com slash jobs for positions that fit your skills, but the chances of getting hired are low, so give it a try yourself. Now let's talk about the Active Developer Badge, getting this badge is pretty easy, because it is for people who have an active Discord application also known as a Discord bot, that has run at least one slash command in the last 30 days. I know you might be a little intimidated that you must have a Discord bot, since creating one usually involves coding, but don't worry, we'll be doing it without any coding. The first thing you need to do is create an application, and you can do it by coming to the Discord developer portal. Once you are here, click on New Application, then enter your bot's name, agree to the terms of service, and then click Create. After that, go to the Installation section then scroll down, and in Scopes, select Bot then save the changes. Now, go to the bot section, scroll down and enable the three intent options, enabling them is optional since we're only using the bot in one server and for personal use, but to ensure everything works smoothly, it's a good idea to enable them. For the last step, scroll up and click on reset token then click on yes do it, and verify 2FA if you have enabled. After that you will get your bot token, keep this token with yourself as we will be using this to make the bot online. Next, go to the BotGhost dashboard, which is the bot builder we'll be using. Keep in mind that this is not sponsored. Alright, so simply click on create a bot, and it will ask your permission to log in with your Discord account. Once you are logged in, it will ask you to enter your bot token, so copy and paste your bot token from the developer portals. Then click on create a bot. Once you are here, it means that your bot is successfully created. Now the last thing is to enable the active developer badge command. You can do this by scrolling down, and in the server management section, you'll see the active developer badge. Click on it, then click enable and save the changes. Now you need to invite the bot to your server to use the command, so click on the invite option and invite the bot to the server you want. After inviting the bot, just press the slash key and use the active developer badge command, and you're done. Keep in mind that you won't get the badge right away, you'll need to wait at least 24 hours before you can claim it. You can check it by visiting the developer portals, and you'll get a notification once you're eligible to claim it. Alright, the part you are watching now is recorded after 24 hours, and you can see I'm finally able to claim the badge. So to claim the badge, simply select your application, which is your bot. Then select a support server, you can select any, and then choose an announcement channel, then simply click on claim button and boom, you have claimed your badge. Now if you check you will have the active developer badge badge on your profile. The next badge is the Discord Quest Badge, and getting this badge is quite easy. The Quest Badge is a type of badge that you earn after completing specific tasks. If you didn't know, Discord has released a new quest system where you complete tasks like playing different games, and in return, you receive rewards such as avatar decorations, and one of them is the Quest Badge. You can get this badge without actually playing the game by using a trick to complete the quest. First, go to the Quest section, then find an available quest, and click Accept Quest. 
By the way you have to be careful here, as there are two types of quests, one requires playing the game, and the other involves streaming the game, so if it's a streaming quest, you'll need to join a voice channel and share your screen, but if it's a play game quest, then you can directly follow the method that I'm showing. Alright, after accepting the quest, press Ctrl plus Shift plus I to open the inspect element, if the inspect element isn't opening, you'll need to do one more thing, press Windows plus R to open the run command, then type percent app data percent and hit enter, now search for discord folder in the app data and click on it, now scroll down until you find settings.json and open it, you'll see this line saying dangerous, only for developers, if it's set to false, change it to true, and you will be fine, also if it's not available there then I will leave this line in the description so you can copy and paste it here. Alright, after opening the inspect element, go to the console tab, you'll need to paste a script here for the trick to work, so go to the github page linked in the description, and copy the script from here, then come back to discord and paste it into the console, also if you get an error saying that pasting isn't allowed, just type allow pasting and press enter, and after that, you should be able to paste the script. After that, your quest progress will start and will be completed in 15 minutes without having to play the game, by the way make sure to check the progress bar to see if it's working, as sometimes it doesn't do to a glitch, if that happens, just repeat the process by pasting the script in the console again, and it should work, so wait for 15 minutes until the quest is completed. Okay so once your quest is completed, simply click on claim reward to get the reward. Bruh. By the way you can claim this code if you want, and with this you will also get your quest badge on your profile. Alright, so it was all about the quest badge, now let's talk about the last two badges which are bug hunters, normal and the gold one. If you know, the discord bug hunter badge is a special badge awarded to users, who help discord by reporting bugs and vulnerabilities through the discord bug bounty program, it's a way for discord to recognize and reward users who contribute to improving the platform's stability, functionality, and security. If you're not familiar with bugs, especially on discord, they're essentially unintended behaviors of the app that reduce the user's experience, like a feature not working as it should. So if you encounter any issues like this, report them to Discord through their bug hunter program, and a bonus tip, try to look for bugs when Discord releases a new update or feature, because you're more likely to find new bugs early on there. By the way, after all this, I'd like to say a few things. At the end of everything, these are just PNG images on your profile, and I don't believe people will give you more respect in a server because of these badges, you'll still interact with others like any regular user. And another downside to having these badges is that it could put your account at risk of being hacked, as you know, people buy accounts that have rare badges, so if you own any, you're making yourself a target for hackers who might try hard to steal your account and sell it, so, I don't think it's worth spending a lot of time chasing these badges, but if you really want them, you can follow the steps I've shown. Alright, so this brings us to the end of the video and I hope I've made everything clear about how to get these badges easily and without wasting your time, so thank you for watching, and peace out.